Hey guys, Ray here. Uh, I pointed out my crested geckos last time. Didn't bother showing you, so I figured I would show you guys my crested geckos. I got 30 hits, so I'm basically famous now. Uh, so yeah, start off with my breeding females. This one here is Lady. When she fires up, she gets pretty dark. Uh, yeah. But this girl, I bought her from a pet store. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't think they fed her that great. Uh, her eggs are fairly small. She's laid two clutches so far and two of the eggs, well the two from her second clutch never made it. They got a little too moist I think. Uh, so yeah, those two eggs look like they're not going to make it. The first two are good, so we'll see how they turn out. But this girl, uh, I'm retiring her. I think she'd be just best as a pet for somebody. Um, so yeah, that's Lady. She's awesome. She's going to a friend of mine. She'll be a good pet. She's awesome. Great to handle. Poor head structure, though. Head structure isn't the best, so I actually got an experiment going. Um, I'll make another video for that, but yeah, that's Lady. Next one here is Ginger. She fires up a really bright orange. Uh, she's got great structure. She came from a really good breeder. I won't say his name because, uh, yeah, I don't know if he'll want me to, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this girl, she's a first time breeder this year, laid two really healthy eggs. Her first two, she's bred to my male Kurosh, so can't wait to see how those hatch out. <clears throat> Try to zoom this out a little bit. Cause I keep going out of the screen. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. She fires up super orange. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see lots of pictures of her. She's got really floppy crests too. So yeah, she's awesome. And then I got one more and she's a good hider. And she likes to run around. Isn't most fond of being handled, I guess. She's also got a pretty good structure. Um, she's got some pretty big ink blots on her. So she's bred to the guy who actually got, I got Ginger from. Bred with one of his males trying to get some uh, super Dalmatians hopefully, or some really good ones anyways. When this girl fires up, she's like black almost, super brown. But as you can see, she's a pretty high energy lady. Lays really healthy eggs. Got four from her that are looking good. So can't wait to see what those, how those look. But uh, be splitting those clutches with the guy who has the mail. So, yeah. Now we'll move on to the male since they're the closest. Yeah, we'll go to the small ones. Male's probably gonna take a poo when I handle them. All right, this little guy not real fired up right now. His name's Hairdo. He's got a darker dorsal. Uh, the sides are, oh, he's in shed right now. That's probably why. Uh, yeah, these guys have been hammering on the crickets lately and the Apache. He came from the same place Ginger did. Really good breeder. This guy is starting to drop his balls. So, Hopefully next year he goes, if not the year after. 
but I'm really interested to see what kinds of things he'll produce with that darker dorsal. And here's a female. She's as she's growing, she's getting a lot more Dalmatian spots. She's not real fired up right now. She fires up, she's really dark sides, real orange dorsal. This is a female, so we'll see when she'll breed, but this is a different genetic line. I got this from a friend of mine. I don't know where he got it, but she's got some pretty decent structure. I wanted to bring in some outside genetics instead of just using all my friends' genes. So, yeah, this girl's oranges really appealed to me. So, and then these two that I'm going to show you are kind of my pride and joy animals, I guess, I don't know, my premier animals. All right, so this is the male. His name is, um, well, I'm terrible, forgot his name for a second there, Leo. Came from my friend where I got ginger and hairdo super super nice when he fires up even when he's fired down and he like looks lavender on the sides almost he's getting some really high whites especially on the sides and on the dorsal very nice to see if we can get a see if the camera will focus awesome huh he likes the camera all right now we gotta find oh there she is all right and here's my only frog but This is Hans. It's a female. She just dropped her tail not long ago. She's a lot harder to catch without it because she's quick. But yeah, she's awesome. Almost a full pinstripe there. Just a couple breaks at the bottom. So yeah, if you guys want to see some good pictures of these guys, just head over to my Instagram. Now I'll show you my males, they'll probably freak out because <laughs> this time of year they tend to do that, at least mine do. All right, this is Kurosh or Cyrus, however you want to say it. There he goes. Colors there a little better. He's got a darker dorsal, lots of, I think this morph they call a tiger. Picked this guy up in Calgary, Alberta. I like the way he looks. Really interested to see what him and Ginger produce, since they're both kind of brighter bases. Who knows? Be interesting to see is that this is who is bred to Ginger. So, and 
And then last but definitely not least. <laughs> he freaks out. He is Franz. He's my second crusty. Hans was my first. Franz was my second. Hans and Franz. He usually bites me. Oh, he's shitting on me. Good times. Oh, he smells females, that's why. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to try breed with me. <laughs> yeah, he definitely smells females. But, yeah, he's got very nice coloring and pattern, but not very good structure. So, we think that maybe because he was incubated at high temperature... Um, but yeah, he was bred to Lady, uh, so we'll see what his babies look like. I said I have an experiment going with Lady and this guy because of their poor structures. Uh, I'll make a different video about that, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my Cresties. Not the highest quality video, but give me a break. It's only my second one I've ever done. So, all right, yeah. If you have any questions, you want to see any more of them, get any further details on them, just let me know in the comments. You can like it, comment, visit me on Instagram, RZ86. Uh, yeah, I got pictures of all these guys, so check me out. Thanks.